Hey guys, it's Alex Vanover with Divine Design Crafts. Hey guys, it's Alex Vanover here with Divine Design Crafts, and I have had an amazing weekend because one of my very best friends is in town. She's right over there, <laughs> but she doesn't like to be on camera, so she's going to hang out over there and help me out. We have been crafting all weekend. We've had so much fun. We've made these amazing glitter tumblers. Look how fun these are. Kayla has never done glitter tumblers before. So this is all new for her. And the thing that she taught me how to do this weekend is screen print with 651 vinyl. And you guys, it is so cool. It's so different from HTV, but I love knowing how to do this because I think it's such a cool option for you guys. So I wanted to jump on live and show you how to do it. So give me just a moment. I'm gonna share this video so that others can join us. But let me know if you're here, where you're from, where you're watching from. Let me know if you can hear me okay and see me okay. And in just a second, we'll get started. See if our live video pops up here. Maybe. Here we go. If you guys are crafting on a wild Saturday night like us, let me know. All right, here we go. Come on, computer. Come on, computer. Come on, computer. You can hear me a little bit. Hello. From Texas. Texas, how cool. You're welcome. That's so neat. Isn't that fun? So I'll post that on my Facebook. I got one more place I need it to go, and then we will get started. You guys are gonna love this, it's so neat. We did a onesie earlier today. So when we're finished, you have to set it with heat. So this is the little cute onesie that we made. And so we're gonna press it at the end. That way we don't have to wait for our current project to dry. Isn't that so cute? That is Kayla's design that she had done on another onesie before. So I think it's super cute. It's like got a beer growler with it. Like, look how fun that is. So cool. Kayla is from Roanoke, Virginia. So if you're from Virginia, let us know that too. Post the link here. We'll get some other friends to join us this evening. I've been like Saturday night crafting lately. It seems like I've been doing all my lives then. Cause they're just so fun. I love hanging out with you guys. There's nothing else I'd rather do on a Saturday night. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we're done with all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna set my laptop aside and let's get started. All right, so some stuff that I have already done. I have already cut and weeded, reverse weeded this design, and um, I just love this. I think it's so fun for summer. So we are gonna be putting it on like a teal turquoise tank top with some gold paint. So we have already cut this out. This is just 651 vinyl. I had the most black, and that's why I chose this color. So nothing special. And the next thing we're gonna do is use transfer tape and put transfer tape over top of it so we can move it to our screen. Kayla, would you mind grabbing that tank top? I left it on the press. And I've already heat pressed my um, tank top to make sure that it is not super wrinkly because you don't want a ton of wrinkles. Thanks. So this is the tank top that we're gonna use. So one thing that I learned the hard way earlier today is not to press really super hard with your transfer tape onto your design. All you wanna do is transfer it to the actual screen. You don't need to put a ton of pressure on it. I had a heck of a time because I had squeegeed it really hard and got it stuck really well, but I did not need to do all of that. So hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. So sorry about that, that's super loud for you. So I'm just laying it down on there. Nothing crazy. We'll cut off the excess. And 
And if you guys really like this design, I put the link in the description. What did you it's say? Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't, like sometimes that stuff gets so loud, especially when you're like on the phone. All right. So, I'm just using my hands to, add, to apply my transfer tape. So I've got my transfer tape over top my design. This is what the screen print screen, I guess it's called, looks like. And so it's just got some holes in it that you really can't see. That's our design is gonna go underneath it and then you put the paint on top and roll it over there. So it's a lot easier than you think. So um, one of Kayla's hacks for doing this a little bit better than some do is she likes to put her vinyl down first, then we're gonna place the tank top underneath where we want it, and then we're gonna tape over it. A lot of people tape before they place their shirt underneath, and then you kind of can't see where you're placing your shirt. So I thought that was a really cool trick compared to the way that a lot of people probably do it um, because it's just a lot more useful. A lot easier to center your design and make sure you're doing something you're putting it in the right spot. Especially when we were doing a onesie earlier, you can like really, really do bad <laughs> with your placement on a onesie. So you wanna make sure that you're paying close attention. So I'm peeling this backing off so that we can put the vinyl straight onto the screen. <laughs> so I have my microphone on you guys, so you probably can't hear Kayla very well because I wanted to make sure that we had really good sound quality. So she's gonna be helping me from the side, but you may or may not be able to hear her. What transfer tape are you using? Oh, yeah, what transfer tape am I using? Um, this is actually Kayla's, this is backless transfer tape. Where did you get this from, Kayla? Do you remember? Brilliant Vinyl maybe or something? Yeah. I know 651 Vinyl sells this as well. This is clear medium tack transfer tape without a backing. It's so, one or the other. It's okay. Hard. She says it's either from probably brilliantvinyl.com or 651vinyl.com. I know for sure that 651 sells it. I was using the blue grid transfer tape from 651 earlier and it wasn't bad. I had just really stuck it down too far. Yeah, like it was way too sticky. So this backless clear transfer tape was much better. So I'm gonna stand up so that I can place it a little bit better on the screen. And my goal is not necessarily to center it where, um, like that it's perfectly in the center of the screen, but I wanna try to make sure that my design is straight on the screen. That way I don't have to have the screen crooked compared to my tank top. So I'm just gonna place it the best that I can. Whoops. I think that looks pretty good. These bigger designs are harder. <laughs> it's harder than what we did with the onesie earlier. The onesies are cute and fun. Yeah, and they're so little. <laughs> but these are fun too. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. I'm excited. Plus it's gonna be gold. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my squeegee because I really want the design to stay well on the screen. Yeah, that's a good point. So the, the issue is, and the reason you need such good adhesion onto your screen is because you wanna keep the paint from bleeding underneath onto the shirt. And the cool thing about screen print that I think makes it so unique compared to regular HTV is you can really achieve a distressed look with this. I know a lot of you guys that have businesses have customers who want that distressed look. And unless you really want to like destroy your vinyl and weed for hours, that's really hard to do. So with screen print, you have a lot better opportunity to do it and it's much easier and faster. Okay, so Kayla said, in case you guys didn't hear, that if you wanted the... Not as many times. Okay, so if you wanted the, to get the distressed look, you're not gonna go over it several times the way that we're gonna do. And you, um, what else did you say? Like, like a different, a lighter pressure. Lighter pressure so with the squeegee like thing. Completely solid you know you okay okay the way that we're going to scrape too, over right? we're just going to yeah. do easier and then she said it's easier to achieve with the white also so here's what it looks like and now i'm going to go ahead and remove my transfer tape if you're just now joining us, you guys, we are screen printing. We are using 651 vinyl on a screen printing screen. My friend Kayla is here to help me out. She's visiting from Roanoke, Virginia for the weekend. So we're just having a grand old time crafting all weekend long. It's been so much fun. We did, um, I taught Kayla how to do glitter cups and she taught me how to screen print. So we're both learning some fun stuff. 
and I live in Louisville, Kentucky today, and some of you probably know I work full-time for 651, so we stopped at 651 Vinyl today. We went to a local Blanks shop and got some fun stuff there. So we've had all kinds of fun today. Are you having easier time with that? Yes, this is like a thousand times just, easier. So much tackier. So yeah, so we don't want it to stick so well to that. Like it doesn't matter. Okay. So we don't want we don't want to have such a hard time getting the vinyl to adhere to the screen. Earlier today, I was using my Bluegear transfer tape, and I don't know that the tackiness was the problem. I think it was because I used a lot of pressure with my squeegee to move my design, and so I had a really hard time getting the letters to stay on the screen. But I have not had a hard time with this because I only used my hand until I transferred it to the screen. So we just used a lot lighter pressure with the squeegee and a less tacky transfer tape. Something you could do if you have a higher a higher tack transfer tape is you could um, like stick it against your shirt before you put it on your design just to take away some of the tacky and kind of tone it down a little bit. So yeah, that was super easy. Much easier than the first time. Okay, so I've got some wrinkles and some bumps. I don't know that you guys can see these around the perimeter. So I'm gonna use my squeegee and get a lot of those bumps out. And then we're gonna tape it, right? Is that what's next? Okay. Uh, place your shirt under it. Oh, place shirt. first, okay. We did one of these earlier today, you guys, and we're gonna set it at the end because you actually have to set the ink, which I didn't know before it's done. We made this super cute little onesie. How precious is that? I just love it. So this was Kayla's design and her idea, but we're gonna set this at the end so that you guys don't have to wait around and wait for my tank top to dry. So let me know where you guys are watching from. I know we've got at least one Texan with us. Where else are you guys from? I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and Kayla is from Roanoke, Virginia. Okay, so I've got my vinyl on there. You know what, I ought to do these letters real quick. Also, with my squeegee, maybe. Just real lightly with my squeegee, I'm going over top, not to damage the vinyl, but the idea is basically to seal the letters onto the screen. Where are you from? Louisiana, oh, California. California. Look at you guys, that's awesome. Thanks for joining me and hanging out. Yeah, a couple of you guys from California. It's a little earlier for you guys. It seems like I always go, I always go live so late. I'm totally a night owl. Another one? Oh, cool. You're from Louisville too, Tanya. Me too. That's awesome. I actually live in Shelbyville technically. So very cool. All right. So I've got my vinyl really well onto my screen. So next I'm going to place my tank top underneath the screen so that I can see where I'm going to place my design. Because after, after we do this, we're gonna cover the screen with tape, so we're not gonna have a very good gauge for where we're lining all of our stuff up. So that's why it's important to place your tank or your whatever shirt you're using or whatever underneath before you tape. That was Kayla's pro tip for us. She said she had done it previously. Yeah, okay. There's a crack in my table, so I'm going a little bit to the side here. Just wanna lay it out really nice. I also, before I started, is my tank 100% cotton? That's a great question. Kayla, do you know the rules for, yes, it is 100% cotton. Um, it is a Bella canvas um, from Jeffy Shirts is where I got this. Do you know about good materials to screen print on? I've mainly done cotton for okay. things. I know it does well on like ribs tanks and stuff for a little Oh, hands, yeah. And it takes really well to rib tank top as well. Um, Cool. Okay. I don't know how guys, uh, how well you guys can hear. You're welcome. She said that she done mostly cotton with her screen printing, but um, it also takes really well to like ribbed textured um, shirts and stuff, which I think is really cool. I've never done that with HTV, but I feel like that's a really neat way to like, you know, use this in, in a different way. And so you're still using vinyl because I am like hardcore a vinyl girl, probably always will be, but I like that you can use vinyl, but use it in a different way. So what do you think, Kayla? Is that like pretty good? Yeah, as best I can, because of course it's a racer back, so right. there's not any guarantee, but does that look pretty good, you think? Yeah, of course it plays tricks on me. I know, because the vinyl around the outside is crooked, so it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure that's straight. I mean, there's that. I mean, it looks straight. Okay, we're going with it. We're going for it, you guys. So next we tape, right? 
Okay, so we're taping all the way around the screen because this screen basically, is it a silk screen? Do you know? I don't know what kind of screen it is. I don't know. It's from Speedball. Speedball is the company that makes it. Um, but basically, this is a really this is a screen with a bunch of little teeny tiny holes. So the reason we're going to tape around the design is to keep getting any ink from anywhere except on top of our design. So this is painter's tape. This is frog tape, but painter's tape essentially. And we are taping all the way around the design. So let us know, you guys, if you've ever screen printed before, if this is new to you, if you've ever heard of it before or tried it, or maybe you're an old pro and you're just hanging out to offer your tips. Is there a bubble in there? Okay. And this is easy. I'm not taping very much because earlier with the onesie design, it was like a lot of tape, but this does take up most of the screen. Kayla, do you know what size this screen is? Um, I think it's 12 by 20. Okay. It might not okay. be that big, but I think it is. I'll give me one second. Okay. Kayla's going to check on what size her screen is. Amazon. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. So Kayla said she got all of her materials from Amazon, which is pretty neat. Because I mean, a lot of dollars, the initial investment. Okay. Somewhere around there. She said the initial investment for her supplies was about $30. 10, oh, 10 by 14. Okay. The screen is seventeen dollars right now on Amazon. Okay. And then let's see. If it's what do you say? You're excited. You've been wanting to learn. Well, cool. Well, good. I'm so glad you're here. She said she's been wanting to learn how to do this. It's so, so easy. It's, she said it's super it's easy. Not as perfect as okay. TV, I would point that out. Like it does have, you know, you can imperfections. Yeah. Caleb was saying that like because you're using ink, it's not as perfect. <laughs> as 650 or as vinyl, as HTV. So you wanna keep that in mind that that's kind of the point um, is that you're gonna be a little bit more varied in your results, but that can be really neat and really fun too. Like I said, for your distressing. You might have so, a mess up. Okay. <laughs> you might have a surprise. Maybe a learning curve a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ec order extra from Jiffy Shirts. <laughs> so yeah, that if you mess them up, it's okay. So she was saying this screen is, what did we say, 10 by 14? 10 by 14. Is the size. It's $17 right now on Amazon. It's by Speedball. And when we're finished, you guys, I can link a lot of these products in the description so that you can come back and order these if you decide this is something you want to try. And to me, an initial investment of like $30 is a great price point for getting started in something totally new. Like that's so cheap. And then she was telling me earlier, she got, this is what we're going to use to drag our ink. And this is by Speedball as well. But she got this at Hobby Lobby, right? Yeah. The other one was more of a plastic and it worked fine. This one has more of like a rubber and I think. Okay. Works. A rubber edge. Mm -hmm. So this one she likes better because it has a rubber edge versus like a plastic edge. She thinks it drags the ink better. But we're not sure we can find it on Amazon. So no, you may have to go to Hobby Lobby. Had, which was still good. Okay. So we'll link the original what's that called the scraper yeah. like the dragger so we'll link the original scraper and the screen and maybe some of the ink on Amazon if we can find it and, and then the rest of it way. we'll put in there so she was saying the ink goes a long way this is a four ounce jar and she said it was like seven or eight dollars a jar eight ounces. oh eight ounce jar for like seven or eight bucks that's super cheap that's like a dollar an ounce actually this one this squeegee looks like the same has might have the same kind oh cool of so the key on this one that she likes about it is this rubbery edge versus like a plasticky edge, like a regular like 651 scraper, the way that this has just like all plastic. She likes like the rubbery edge and that's worked better for her. So, okay. So the next step, I think, right, is to take some ink out and we're basically going to create a big line up top. Do we want to go a little closer maybe? Okay. Wait, wait, see there we go. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some ink out of our jar and we're going to drag it, kind of create a line across the top. So that way we can drag it over top of our design. And as far as amount, yeah, we have some paper towels handy just in case. She said, as far as amount, you do want to use a healthy amount of paint. You don't want to be in any shortage of it. And what's cool about this project is there's basically no waste because everything that comes that comes down to the bottom after you cover your design, we can scrape back into the jar. So that's pretty neat. 
So I'm using this really pretty metallic color. I think it's going to look really, really pretty on this tank top. Okay, she said a lot of the paints that she buys has a pearl finish. She's going to show you guys some of the other colors that she uses. So we're going to drag it a little wider than the design to make sure that we're covering all the edges and get in all those pineapple leaves. Does that look like enough, Kayla? What do you think? Yeah. Maybe a little more in that corner to make sure we get some. So... I'll close this one. This one says it's, oh, I've got some on my finger. It's for opaque. So I don't know if it has a name of the gold or not. It's, they don't, I think they only make, it's not like vinyl. Where it's oh, okay. <laughs> so Speedball makes it and it's just like their gold color. This one's and like then blue denim. This is blue denim. So this is a navy one also I from Speedball. Done that one. I don't know if has shine. She hasn't used it or not. This one has a pearly white. This is white, but it has like a pearl finish. So she said it's really easy to get the distressed look with these lighter colors if you guys are into that. And that's a hot pink. And hot pink. Woohoo. She lighter. said it does better on lighter colors, but not super great on the on um, really dark colors. And the white does really good on dark colors. Okay, and white as well in dark colors too. And I know we used black earlier and it was great. Had no problems with coverage. Okay, so next, Kayla, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm gonna use this scraper and I'm just gonna drag it from the top to the bottom, right? You can right? have two people hold or you can do the thing by yourself. Like you don't really have to hold the screen. You okay. Keep it from sliding. So once, want, since we it. have it placed, yeah, Kayla's gonna hold the screen for me. She said you don't have to have somebody hold it for you, but it does help. You know, if, especially when you're newer, probably, if you do. But she does it by herself. So it's definitely doable. So I'm just going to start from behind the ink that I dropped down. Swipe one way. Okay. And I'm going to swipe just in one direction all the way down with some good pressure. Make sure we fill in all those gaps. Oh, sorry. In the way there. Okay. Oh, I got a good bit on my screen. Can I do it again? Yeah, I would do it at least twice. If you want like a good, okay, a good strong, I would do it at least, at least twice. So I've got a lot of ink left on my squeegee because I had a good bit of pressure. So she said I'm going to do it at least twice, if not more, to make sure that we get some good coverage on our design. Tell them that you don't want to have lots of globs. Okay. She said not to have lots of globs and stuff and you see that on top of your there. design. You don't Okay. There. Yeah, I've got a hair in there, of course. Surprise, surprise, I'm a woman and there's hair in my stuff. So let me get a spoon. And I'll try to grab that out of there. There we go. You can see on the tape as long as it's not in your pineapple. Okay. Okay, guys, hair emergency averted. <laughs> I think we got it, but I'm afraid I'm going to drag it down again. We may have to fix it, you but we'll be. try. You should be. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So we're going to start, we're going to do it one more time, maybe more, I don't know. You don't want any globs anywhere. So not a ton of globs of, of like ink left on your design. I think. What do you think? I think it looks good? good. Okay. So. Oh, my only concern is right down here. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. But I probably, yeah. That's good. Better. So I was able to scrape a little bit off on top of that R. So we saw a glob. See anything? Yeah. Anything else? Uh, oh, okay. So now I just kind of peel the screen off of the shirt, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm lifting it straight up for the most part. I usually, well, I guess Maybe I tilt. Like, tilt up like from here. And you're, it's going to move, but it's going to come down. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so cute. So I'll try to lift it up in just a second and show you. Was it best if you go rinse that off? Yes. Is that good? Wash okay. Wash your screen quickly or so you don't said, have to stain like I do. <laughs> so she said to wash your screen fast because it will stain your screen. Um, your product. And don't stare at your product too long. Just go wash your screen. So you guys, look how cute this turned out. Okay. Actually, I'm going to lift up the camera to show it to you so that I don't have to move the shirt. Oh, it doesn't want me to turn. Okay. Fine, Sassy. Hold on. Okay. So look how cute that turned out, you guys. It's got a nice sheen to it. It's got really good coverage. I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I love it too. Thank you. So yeah, so we're digging it. Pretty cool, you guys. I love it. 
So if we were doing this project start to finish, we would give it a few minutes to dry and then we would go ahead and actually we would heat press it or set it with like an iron to, um, you just wanna heat set it so that it's gonna stay. So when Kayla comes back from washing off our screen, we are going to um, heat set the little onesie that we made earlier. That way you guys don't have to wait and watch um, my tank top dry. So something that I'll do while she's gone as I'm actually gonna scoop a lot of the paint, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, I'm gonna scoop a lot of the ink that we used on my tank top back into the container because you can reuse it. So I'm gonna put this aside, but before I do that, you guys, look at how fun these cups are. So Kayla has never done cups. Oh, you're from Ohio, how cool. Heath is from Ohio, so I'm from Cincinnati originally. So what part of Ohio do you live in? So. These are some of the glitter cups that we have made earlier. Kayla has never done the glitter cup thing. So that was what I was able to teach her and she was able to teach me screen printing. Sounds cutting in and out. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Let me move this guy a little bit lower maybe. So I have a microphone on a lapel microphone so that you guys can hear me well. Is that any better? Let me know. So this is Kayla's other tank, or other tank top, oh my gosh, other cup, like how fun is that? Like so pretty. And then I have one too that I have not yet um, epoxied because I only have a double turner. This one is mine and you guys, I'm so excited about it. Love it. So let's put some ink back in our container so that we're not wasting a lot. And then we will heat set our cute little onesie. If you don't have a, a press, I always used an iron and it, and it doesn't stick to your iron. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, neat. Okay. So I have used an iron, so. You don't so have Kayla press. has used an iron to heat set all of her stuff because she doesn't own one. This sounds been good for you. Okay, good. And you love the cups? Yes, thank you. I think Kayla is totally a cup natural. She's a pro. Paint lasts forever. Show them how much. I've used that several times. So she said she's used this paint several times and like look how much is left. So since you're able to put so much back, you really just waste very little. She also said that if you have to heat set with your iron because you don't have a heat press, she said that you don't have to worry about like sticking the ink to your iron, which is really nice. So, sure do you, so you have to make sure it's dry, but you don't put like parchment paper down or anything? No parchment paper or anything? Well, I've never cool. done it. I'm sure you can. Okay. I've never done that. She said she's never done parchment paper and she's never gotten it on her iron. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. That's nice to know. So we're scraping a lot of that off. And then Kayla has run to, she's back now, but she ran to rinse off the screen because she does, she said she has a stain on her screen from waiting too long. And if you have the stain, it'll still work. It just isn't as pretty. Okay, so the stain is okay. Screen. So um, Princess Disa is asking, what do you use to clean the screen? So when I did it earlier, I just rinsed off with water. I did it in my kitchen sink and I used the sprayer and just cleaned it off. Yeah, Any other tips? It, okay. Make sure your stickers are off your vinyl. Take your okay. vinyl off. She said just run your fingers across it, make sure that you remove your vinyl, and then you just wash it off with your fingers. And, it, and we used black earlier and it came straight off. Same thing with this. So yeah, same thing with the scraper, she said. So super pretty easy cleanup, especially for paint. And like we didn't have anything under this tank top, and even though my table is a little bit stained, because it's a craft table, um, it really it didn't have anything underneath it or anything. So definitely not very wasteful, which I like a lot. I hate a lot of waste. You crafters are like me, you probably hate waste too. <laughs> You're very welcome. Okay, so when Kayla gets back in just a moment, we will go ahead and heat press and we will be all done. So we are, if you are just now joining me, the, um, the ink still has to dry on this and then you wanna heat set it, but so that you guys don't have to wait and wait for this to dry because it takes like 15 to 20 minutes to dry. We are going to heat set this little onesie that we made earlier. How cute is this, you guys? Kayla is so creative. This is her design for a friend of hers who's having a baby. So it's a little beer growler and it says locally brewed. Like how fun. So we have set my heat press already. So we have set it to 320 degrees and we're gonna press it for 20 seconds. So that's 320 degrees for 20 seconds. But whenever Kayla does it, she just uses an iron. So if that's all you have, no big deal. That's not something that can stop you. All right, so we're gonna readjust our camera. Give us just a second. I have a microphone on, so that's why you'll see a cord coming from me. <laughs> I'm a little attached here. There we go. 
So I'm gonna go over here and close my door. Do you think I need a pressing pillow underneath? Um, that I don't know. I mean, earlier I think it helped. But okay. So I'm gonna use a pressing pillow just because anytime you use onesies, there's always a lot of seams in it. So in order to get good contact with the press, I'm gonna use a pressing pillow. So I've got my design, and again, we are pressing at 320 degrees for 20 seconds. That's what my heat press is already set to. And it's just medium pressure. I don't know if that matters. So, yeah, yeah. So if you, you guys are just now joining me, make sure that you let me know if you've ever done screen printing before, if that's something you wanted to do, all that kind of good stuff. If you've never heard of it, maybe that this is all new for you. And if you enjoy hanging out, make sure you subscribe to Divine Design. Okay, let it cool for just a second so I don't burn my fingers. <laughs> so make sure that if you guys like hanging out, you join Divine or you subscribe to Divine Design. I love to go live and I post new videos every Friday. So there's lots of good stuff going on on my channel. My name's Alex Vanover, by the way. Okay, so it looks great. So I pressed it at 320 for 20 seconds and like look how well this heat set. It looks like it's like in my fabric, which is so neat. So any other last tips for us, Kayla? Screen printing tips? Um, Anything like that? Oh my goodness, let's see. I was just thinking of them while I was out there. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> Take, place it on your shirt prior to, or the reverse weeding, obviously. Okay, so weeding. don't, so here's some tips from Kayla, whether you, I'm not sure if you guys can, can hear her or not, so I'll repeat it. So reverse weed, don't forget to take away the parts of your design that you don't want anymore. Um, sorry, <laughs> obviously. So you wanna take away the parts of your design that you would normally keep, and that's what you're gonna use as your stencil. It's just like stenciling. And then, um, what else? tape, sorry. It's not that's straight. okay, I know, that it gets a little crooked. Tape before, put it on your shirt, then tape. Okay, put it on your shirt, then tape. She said, um, Princess Tisa said, are you able to do multicolor designs? So yes, you just have to let dry in between. Okay, so, so you can do multicolors, but you're gonna have to let it dry in between. So basically, just like layering, you would like do the part of vinyl that you wanted one color, swipe it, let it dry, yeah, make sure you don't then have the whole design, redo it. You know what I mean? Okay. You only have to have whatever you want black only on it, and then okay. whatever you want in the next color would be only on okay. the screen. So you just don't want like the whole design. You know okay. I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So when you were doing that, you would want to cut each of the different parts of your design in the different colors you were going to like you normally would with layering. So the way the design space like separates things by layers with colors, you would do the same thing on your shirt and you're only going to put what on your shirt, what you want that certain color. And then you would lay your next piece of vinyl. So layering can That's either be dry. easier or harder. I think it's pretty easy. It's just more time consuming. They okay. Let it dry. Okay, so she said it's not necessarily any harder, but it is more time consuming because you have to let it dry like 15, 20 minutes between each time. It depends on how thick your paint is. Sometimes okay. it can be pretty quick. I mean, you can always tell with your finger how quick. Okay. But it's usually pretty, it's pretty quick as long as you don't have like a lot of paint on there. You can tell if it's thick and you're like, oh, it's going to take a little longer. Yeah, it's going to be a while. So you're going to want to make sure that you basically you just feel it with your fingers to know how, um, how dry it is or not. So she said if you have a lot of thick paint, it may be longer than that. Um, but 15, 20 minutes or so, and then you're ready to, that you're ready to move on to your next layer or heat set it when you're ready. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Wipe so. Down. Swipe down or stay in one direction, right? One direction. The more okay. sometimes try to at least two times, unless you want like more of that distressed look. At least okay. twice, and then no globs. Kind of like if it looks real heavy somewhere, probably swipe again. Okay. So she even said even pressure. Even pressure. Okay. So you want even pressure as you're swiping, and you want to probably um, swab down or wait, was it swipe? swipe. <laughs> Not swab. <laughs> swipe it down at least twice. If you're looking for that more distressed look, then you may go ahead and just do one time um, or like the lighter colors. But um, you just want to swipe at least twice. And then she said no globs. So if you're able to see like on top of your vinyl, if you see that it's really heavy or there's globs of paint, you may want to swipe one more time to like make sure that there's not a, a lot left. Like you did at the end. There, okay. Where we saw a little bit. On like the end of the, so on the end of summer, we could see that like my black vinyl was covered in gold. So we swiped one more time, just kind of over that section to get rid of that gold before we pulled it off. So. 
I think that's about it. So that was super simple. That's a pretty short live to do a project in like 35 minutes and explain the whole thing. So that tells me that that's a pretty awesome project. So make sure you guys tell me in the comments um, if you enjoyed this, if screen printing is something you've heard of or you've wanted to try, or maybe you've never heard of it. And this is brand new for you. So my name's Alex Vanover and I'm with Divine Design Crafts. And if you enjoyed hanging out this evening, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love to do live videos and I try to post a video every Friday. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you later and say bye to Kayla she's bye. over there <laughs> she's, a, <laughs> she's awesome and we'll link 